Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 7th of April 2016. So yesterday's uh, session, as I warned in yesterday's Market Alert, uh, was going to be quiet prior to the crude oil inventory figures, which came out at 3pm, and they came out uh, better than actually forecast. You can see there were four minus uh, 4.9 million when it was forecast to show a surplus of 3.1 million, so this sent... Uh, the crude oil price also moving sharply higher, which you can uh, see there. You see crude oil moving to the upside there. So a positive for crude, which is also a positive for the stock market. The two are linked, and there you can see them moving higher. Eventually we get a buy signal, which produces 20 points in uh, profit there. The market now driving through the 20 point scalp to start trailing. As you can see, they're just very narrow range bars. Uh, attempting to trade up to the uh, 17,700 but uh, failing to do so there. Then it's uh, the quiet time for the FOMC waiting for the market to react and this has to be the most disappointing low volatile move I've ever seen following an FOMC announcement. Normally there's a lot of volatility here there was just a drifting down of prices until they found support and then the market was uh, saw the three o'clock New York ramp as it's now become known as prices are brought back to the upside there. So a very uh, quiet day given uh, the backdrop of the FOMC 150 point range really uh, for the whole session. In the daily chart, so you can see how prices uh, were brought back there. Again, we've still got these highs to be taken out, and it's quite possible that could be done today. Sorry, not today, but over the next few days, because uh, news-wise, we've got the big guns out today. 3 p.m., we've got Draghi speaking, so be careful uh, when he speaks. It's likely to be uh, a bullish reaction to him, but you can't guarantee that, because we seem to be on the cusp of the central banks have run out of options at the moment. I'm sure they've got a few more tricks up their sleeves, but at the moment it's looking like uh, they're uh, getting short on uh, gunpowder. And also uh, Yellen speaking, but not until after the markets close. So 3 p.m. Draghi, watch out. Uh, you know, he, last time he, he proposed uh, corporate buybacks along with uh, all of the other debt buying from the banks as well. So uh, now we're buying corporate debt, or uh, well, the taxpayer is in uh, Europe. So. Uh, who knows uh, what uh, they will do next if they want to go more negative on rates or whatever. But uh, absolutely uh, clueless uh, with what uh, they're actually doing. It looks like uh, they're in control, but they're not in control. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in now. This is that uh, simple, really. And then on the implied uh, volatility front, uh, we've got 12.32, this dropping down from yesterday, which is good news. I'd like to see this go lower. It's fine by me. The lower this goes, the bigger the drop we're going to get in the underlying market. And as I said a few moments ago, we're heading in that direction. Uh, certainly within this uh, month, we're going to see uh, some sort of uh, decent sized correction coming into the market, unless there's some other tool that the Fed has got uh, up its sleeve that uh, they can use to continue to move the market higher. But at the moment, the old adage, selling may go away, is just around the corner as well. That's never ceased to fail to work for the last few years. But uh, as I said before, I still think that's going to come a bit sooner rather than later as well because of this move that we've got in the market. It's just uh, being pumped up. You see prices there just uh, going up on fresh air, no real buying whatsoever. And on the down days, we've seen an increase in volume as well. Right, that's it uh, for today. Let's see what happens. I would expect it to be fairly quiet up until uh, Draghi speaks, unless uh, anything uh, comes out of the blue. And then uh, the market will react on the overnight, of course. Uh, interesting that uh, they're sending Yellen out, or she's speaking after 10.30 after the market's closed, whether this is engineered or not. I don't know where she's actually speaking. It might just be a university thing. But uh, she's speaking after the market's closed, and uh, this will obviously reduce the impact in the market as well as most uh, participants will be either asleep or uh, the markets will be closed. Right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.